Hello and welcome to this film which is all about a, um, an experiment that we're going to do to investigate the effect of different catalysts on the rate of a chemical reaction. And the reaction in question is the reaction between iron 3 nitrate and sodium thiosulfate. So you're going to need access to those two chemicals. And here you can see we've got 0.1 mole per litre solutions of them. You're going to need two measuring cylinders, one large, 100 milliliter one, and one small, 25 milliliter measuring cylinder. And you're going to need access to three different catalysts, iron 2 sulfate, cobalt chloride, and copper 2 sulfate. And apart from that, in order to time the reaction, you're going to need a cross on a piece of paper and a stop clock. Right, now this is a very, very simple reaction to carry out, but so that we're making it a fair test, we're going to make sure that we're quite precise about measuring out the chemicals. So first thing you're going to need to do is put 25 millilitres of sodium thiosulfate into your larger measuring cylinder. This is where the reaction is going to happen. And the smaller measuring cylinder, you're only ever going to put one thing in that, in this experiment, so that we don't get reactions starting when we don't want them to. So the small measuring cylinder is for your iron 2 nitrate, and you need 25 millilitres of that, just like you needed 25 millilitres of the sodium thiosulfate. So once you've got those two things together, and you're ready to start the reaction, make sure your stop clock's ready. Put the large measuring cylinder on the cross, and pour the other solution straight into there. Now you can see what happens, it immediately goes quite dark, all right? and that darkness in that liquid is going to obscure the cross from view if we look straight down on it through the measuring cylinder. So we're going to keep timing, and we're going to stop timing the reaction when we can see the cross. So that is to say, when we're looking down through the measuring cylinder, we're going to stop timing when that cross appears. And you can see, it. It's quite a slow reaction, so what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and speed it up by using these three catalysts. So the next time you do the reaction, before you add your iron nitrate, so that is to the measuring cylinder with the sodium thiosulfate in it, you're going to add one drop of a catalyst of your choice. Okay. If you use more than that, the reaction is really, really too fast to measure. So we've got to be really careful about just using one drop of the catalyst. And then like before, you just add your iron 3 nitrate to it, and then you empty out the big measuring cylinder, give it a wash, and you start again. You do exactly the same thing with each of the three catalysts, and you see what effect the catalyst has on how long it takes for this cross to appear. So you can see now the solution is much lighter. So we actually would have been able to see the cross a little while ago, but that's what we're looking for. Okay, so hopefully that all makes sense. If you've got any questions about it, then make sure you ask your teacher before you get going.